what comes to your mind when the word flash drive is being mentioned? Hi there! Welcome to Graphic City TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy large files more than 4 GB to your flash drive. But first, please subscribe if you're new to this channel and hit that bell icon to get notified of my new upcoming videos. So without any further ado, let's get started. Copying files from your computer to your flash drive is a very easy and simple task. However, copying single files with more than 4 GB of file size to your flash drive is a very different story. To give you a better idea on how things work, I will show you the process step by step. I have here a flash drive, a 16 GB flash drive, a brand new 16 GB flash drive actually. I bought this online a couple of months ago and we're going to plug in this flash drive to our system unit and let's find out what will happen if I'm going to copy large files more than 4 GB into this brand new flash drive. So let's jump into our computer and let's find out what will happen. So this is our monitor here and the computer detects already the flash drive being inserted to the USB port of the system unit. A pop-up window appears and this is in connection with the flash drive. So let's close this window and let's check our flash drive. So click the my computer icon and right click to open. So this is now the different drives including the flash drive that we've just inserted. The flash drive is tagged as drive J. And now let's check the flash drive if it's really 16 gigabytes by clicking the properties option of the drive. Let me let, let me do it again. It's it's too close. Here we go. So this is now the properties of the flash drive. Let's check again its capacity. The total capacity of the flash drive is only 14.3 gigabytes. What's the explanation of this phenomenon? Why a brand new 16 gigabyte flash drive has only 14.3 gigabyte capacity based on my research this is because a portion of memory space in the external storage is reserved for system files and data sector for better performance so let's copy now a single file more than 4 gigabytes in any of these drives here in this tutorial I'm going to copy large files from drive D simply because in this drive I can find large files more than 4 GB for the reason that I saved all my works in this drive. So let's, let's open this drive and find a single file with more than 4 GB of file size. These are the folders of this drive and at the bottom we can find a single file. This is a video file actually in one of our clients in our wedding coverage. The size of this file is 8.58 gigabytes, more than half of a 4 gigabyte file size.
So let's copy this file to our flash drive and let's see what will happen. A pop-up window appears but this time it's an error message telling that the file size is too large for the destination file system. How could this be? Why a 16GB flash drive can't copy an 8.58GB file size where in fact the video file being copied is just one half of the storage size of the flash drive? We need to do something about this. The computer gives an error message stating that the file is too large for the destination drive even if the capacity of the flash drive is 16 gigabytes. What is the main cause of this error message? The main cause of this error message is that the flash drive being inserted to the computer is formatted with a file system with a built-in limitation of file size it may contain. In other words, if you buy a flash drive, its natural file system format is FAT32 or FAT32 which has a 4 GB file size limitation. How can we resolve this error message? I will show you. So, going back to our computer here, we need to eject first our flash drive before proceeding to the next step. You may or may not eject the flash drive but it is highly recommended to eject the flash drive since there was an attempt of copying files from drive D to the flash drive. Let's insert again the flash drive and proceed to the next step. flash drive is back and what we are going to do now is to format the flash drive. So right click and select the format option. So you can see here that the default file system format of the plus drive is FAT32 which has a 4GB file size limitation as I explained earlier in, in this tutorial. So we need to change the default file system format of the plus drive to a much newer and updated file system format. There are three options here but we need to choose the best option for me which is the NTFS file system format. start to start the formatting process of the flash drive and there is a warning message here 
a warning message appear before formatting a flash drive. Warning! Formatting will erase all data on this desk. To format the desk, click OK. To quit, click Cancel. So in this case, we need to click OK since we want to format the flash drive into a much newer file system format. So click OK and let's wait for a while until the system successfully formats the flash drive. So here we go. The formatting process is completely done. Click OK and let's close this formatting option here. So, this is the moment that we've been waiting for. The final test for our flash drive whether it can copy large files more than 4 GB. So let's open again our drive D and copy the video file that we've copied before the flash drive is being formatted and paste it to the newly formatted flash drive. of more than 4 GB from drive B to the flash drive has just started. The 8.58 video file is now being copied to the newly formatted flash drive with a new file system format. So we'll just wait until the copying process will become 100% complete. So that's it on how to copy large files more than 4 GB from your computer to your flash drive. You need to format your flash drive into NTFS file format and start copying large files without any error message. I chose this topic to be my first tutorial video to my YouTube channel in response also to a friend's query regarding copying large files to a flash drive. He is from uh, Kamotis Island. So to you my friend who is in Kamotis Island right now, this video is also for you. If you think this video is helpful, please hit the like button, leave your comments below, and please do share this video. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching.